Jose, you better delete all of this footage because I look ridiculous. Why is my lash falling off? Hold on, my lashes are falling off. Delete all of this. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you my top five favorite reds for this holiday season. So if you wanna see what they are, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love sharing all my knowledge and thoughts on all of the new makeup with you guys. And for today's video, all of these products are pretty old, but I'm gonna talk about my staple reds for the holidays. I have a few different formulas, a few different price points, and I'm a big red lover for the holidays. I don't wear reds really all year round, but when it comes time for the holidays, I love a good red, and I find my Myself always reaching for the same reds so I thought I would share with you the top five that I will probably be wearing this season I know this season's looking a little bit different with the whole mask situations if you're leaving your house many factors as to why you probably won't be wearing red this season but I just think it's fun to wear around your house take some selfies in for the holidays upload them to Instagram and I don't know maybe you're doing something <laughs> anyways so I'm just gonna share with you my top five favorites we're gonna start off with lipsticks then we're gonna go into liquid lipsticks I'm gonna demo them for you and all of that good stuff so let's get into the first one so I'm gonna start off by using bossy lip liner from ColourPop I don't really have a favorite red lip liner, honestly. I just kind of grab whatever. But if you're using a red lipstick, please, please, please use a lip liner. All right, so let's get into my first favorite red lipstick. Now this is in no particular order. I just love all five of these. But we're gonna start off with the newest one, I would guess. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in Super Starlet. I really, really love this color because it's more of a neutral kind of red shade. It's a little bit more on the deeper side. And I've talked about this color a lot recently just because it's been my current favorite red of the moment. So we're gonna try it on just so that you can see it but it's from the collection that has a beautiful kind of bedazzled top from Charlotte so I also really love it because of that so you can see it's kind of a more toned down red it's a little bit deeper it's not like a bright pink or cherry kind of red so I think this one is really appropriate if you're not into really bright lips it's also the kissing formula from Charlotte so it is very very moisturizing it's gonna have a bit of shine that's why you definitely want to make sure you have a lip liner underneath so that it doesn't travel because it is a creamier formula but this is an extremely comfortable red. It's gonna give you a little bit of a pump because it has some sheen to it and it's not going to be too bright, no. It depends on what you would classify as too bright and what you're comfortable with, but I definitely find this to be just like a great classic red. Okay, so the next lipstick is from Chanel. Now, I'm not a big Chanel purchaser. There's some things here and there I'll pick up, but I'm not so familiar with the line, but I've had this lipstick for years, probably way past its expiration date. This was given to me by my mom, and I guess it just has sentimental value to me, but I continue to use it every single year, so it still is one of my favorite reds. And this is the lipstick in the shade Rebel. It's a Rouge Coco Shine. Okay, so you can see that this color is so much different than the Charlotte Tilbury. This is more of a daytime red for me. It's a sheer formula, and it almost is a little bit more orangey, but I love this as a daytime red. So you can see it's really, really shiny on the lips. Uh, it's a very sheer formula, but it gives you a red that's still not quite as intense or as opaque compared to that Charlotte Tilbury especially. So if you're looking for something that's more of this sheer kind of wash, really love Rebel from Chanel. All right, these last three are gonna be liquid lipsticks. We're gonna start off with such an oldie. It's just one of my favorite classic reds, and this is from Kylie Cosmetics, but it is so good, you guys. This is Mary Jo K. Now, I really love liquid lipsticks for the holidays because a red is just so insane, and when it gets all over your face, you look crazy, so 
Liquid lipsticks normally are the formula that I go for when I'm wearing reds, especially with the whole mask situation. And while the Kylie formula is kind of drying, it really stays on for a really long time. So I just make sure I moisturize my lips very well. I make sure I don't reapply too much so that my lips don't get crusty. But I find this lipstick to last such a long time. And if you take care of your lips and use it properly and don't build the product too much, it is fine. And the red is just perfect. It almost is more of like a blue red, which I really love. So you can see how much more different it is compared to the other two. A lot more blue and bright. So here's what Mary Jo K from Kylie looks like. I love this one. It's been a while since I've worn it, but if I'm looking for a bit more of a brighter red, this is what I go to. It's extremely long wearing. Wow, I really recommend looking into this one, especially if she's having a sale on her lip product. This is one of her first launches and it really is one of my absolute favorite reds. Ignore the little bit of staining. As you can imagine, swatching red lips is really, really tough. But let's move on to the fourth one. Again, kind of a very similar red to the Kylie, but I absolutely love it. So this is the Fenty Beauty Stun Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. It's a tiny bit deeper than the Kylie shade, and it's not quite so bright and blue based. It's a little bit more deeper for even more of a staple red. This is going to look really great for deeper complexions. <laughs> Ignore how crazy I kind of applied that. I got a little bit out of hands up here, but how gorgeous is this red. I know they all kind of look the same, but I swear they're different. I mean, they're not that different. They do all <laughs> look the same, but I just love every single one for a different kind of occasion. And because I am so into makeup, I can tell the difference. And um, this one is a bit more bold red, whereas the Kylie was like cherry bright red. This one is definitely more bold. I absolutely love this one as well. Um, and I do find the formula to be less drying than Kylie's, which is something that you might want to also keep in mind. Final one, red is ridiculous to swatch, oh my goodness. So this is an affordable option, fairly new. This is the ColourPop and Mulan collaboration liquid lip, and this is called Strong Chi. This is such a great red, and I don't mind this formula. I think it's really great for the price. It feels more expensive. It's better than the Kylie, honestly, I would say. Now, it is sold out online currently, but it is available in a set with a lip gloss for $13, and I totally think it's worth it. This is a really great liquid lip that I discovered this year. Now, as you can see clearly from the swatch, it almost has a blurred finish to it. So it's more of a creamy kind of liquid lipstick. It's not going to dry up or harden on your lips, which is why I really love the formula, but that also does take away from the opacity. So if you really want strong, hardcore pigmentation, the Kylie and the Fenty are what's gonna give you that. This one is not quite a liquid lipstick, but it's a mixture between a lipstick and almost that powder blur formula. It's really really gorgeous so this one is going to be the most comfortable and long wearing red so it's not going to be the most long wearing but if you want something that's longer wearing than a lipstick and it's going to be less messy this is the way that you want to go because it is going to dry down a bit as well and the color's a little bit softer it's not quite so intense so if you like that then this guy is going to be for you all right you guys so that is all i have for today's video those are my top five reds for the holidays i wanted to give you something with a variety from price points to finishes to textures all of that and i really feel like i was able to give you that with this video i absolutely love all five of these for different reasons if i had to tell you though my number one absolute favorite i think the Fenty comes out on top because if I want a red lip, most of the time I want to do it right, I want to do it red, I want to do it bold. So this is the perfect bold red lip that I love for this season. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one. Oh wait, I forgot to film my intro. Okay, I'll film the intro after this clip. If that makes sense. Wait.